If I told you the child was hungry, you'd think I'd be talking about feeding a baby. But the child hungers sounds like a horror movie title, doesn't it? This is a Davite SCP. Now, if you know anything about Davites, they are a very ancient evil. They like we've we've covered them like minute a few times when we when we talked about groups of interest and in, in different tales and stuff. They bad news, okay? And this SCP is about that. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be close to a horror movie. This one is by the Vulcan, you guys. Make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos and let's get into this one. I'm excited to see what this thing is. The thumbnail looked wicked, but that's all I know about it naturally. And then it's a Davon SCP because it's in the title. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Good Lord. My name is Dr. Miller and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-4290. It doesn't look like class, a child. Keter, disruption class, a spike tail. Amida, and risk class, critical. Critical risk class. Special okay. containment procedures. Nothing nice. All available military assets are at the site of SCP-4290 ceiling and are prepared to use any means necessary to neutralize the anomaly. Mobile right. Task Force Alpha-1, Red Right Hand, Mobile Task Force Tau-5, Samsara and Mobile Task Force New 7 Hammer Down have been outfitted with experimental paratech weaponry and are situated within SCP 4290's containment perimeter. Wow. Grids of nuclear mines have been planted in the vicinity of the ceiling site, prepared to detonate if Foundation assets are destroyed. The Degas Break Orbital Strike System has been enabled in Orbital. the event of a breach past the containment perimeter. <laughs> this thing's Emergency bad news, shelters bro. for civilians and selected Foundation personnel are being prepared in the event that containment measures fail. The probability of failure is undetermined. Okay, so they don't know if it's going to fail or not. SCP-4290 is a Class One eschatological entity that was thaumaturgically sealed approximately 10,000 so, years in the past. Magical its seal ceiling. is expected to break in the next seven days. Oh my god! The site of sealing, SCP-4290 LOCK, is in Qinghai Lake at a depth of 32.8 meters from the surface okay. and is constructed from eight beryllium bronze totems. The totems resemble armored humans, engraved with networks of banishing runes and arranged onto the points of an eight-fold fractal pattern carved into the lake bed. Tw this is something like you'd, if you would, if a dungeon master was telling you about like this, this, these ruins that you were approaching when you were about, when your characters were about to die in a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, that would be the description of it. This thing's archaic, man. 20 meters wide. Bursts of red light are periodically released from its center. These have intensified in brightness over the past month. Oh God. Information on SCP-4290 has ticking. been recovered from SCP-1726 and other such anomalous record sources. A translated excerpt on the entity from an unknown writer follows. Okay, yeah, tell us what they said. The child rose its ten mouths to the heaven, stretched ten wide mouths. twenty arms, and ripped the umbilical cord from the sack on its head. The warriors surged to its legs, hoping to tear those newly born limbs before they could Sounds move. Sounds like a- But from the mouths spilled torrents of darkness and dead geometry. Oh my god, I got the chill. It sounds flee. biblical, Reality like revelation, man. With the warriors stretching along its folds and the darkness crunched into their skulls with flares of scarlet. The child wheezed, dragging skeletal fingers through the dead and the land around. The fingers retracted, flames burst, then subsided, wax rained, then dissolved. Then the island, its warriors, and every soul still left melted into melted the darkness. Into the darkness. For ten days, the child drank it. God! All the world trembled. Oh my god, dude. Addendum 4290-1. This is Repair bad attempt. news, On dude. On 208 2022 Televisions in Jinghai Province and outlying areas abruptly displayed images of an entity matching SCP-4290 rising over a melting cityscape, with an androgynous voice telling viewers to repair the child's locks. This has repeated in frequency with the voice shifting to say, there is little time left, repair. Investigation led to the words, discovery of SCP-4290 
LOCK. Efforts into finding means by which SCP-4290 LOCK could be reinforced were launched. Searches of SCP-1726, undercover excursions into the Wanderer's Library, mm -hmm. and the ruins of specific far past civilizations found that this is not the first time the seal has needed repairs. Okay. Civilizations including the Arakeshans, the Xia Dynasty, and ancient Artothans have strengthened the seal with sacrificial rituals oh and the gosh, engraving dude. of new runes onto the totems. The last group to have performed this were the Davites. Shortly mm -hmm. before their culture was destroyed, C-270. Wow. The Foundation Department of Occult Containment arranged for the rites and engravings oh. to be performed. Mm -hmm. A submersible containing the ritual setup and remotely operated underwater vehicles with carving equipment descended to the center of SCP-4290 LOC on 0908, 2022. However, halfway through the performance of the ritual, a red light burst accompanied with the release of high levels of gamma radiation and heat occurred. Uh -oh. Radiation damage caused the ROVs to accidentally damage existing runes, uh -oh. and the interruption of the ritual lead to only two cadavers and half the heart to vanish as planned. Television broadcasts repeated later that day, its voice now stating, The sacrifice did not reach the ten maws. Brace. Brace. <laughs> Addendum 4292, 1508-2022 defection incident. At 1 a.m., several personnel stationed at Qinghai Lake acted against Foundation orders and fled the area. One of the involved agents, Agent Zenovia Marinos, left the following message on a piece of paper in their quarters before leaving. Okay. Do we think we can actually stop this? No civilization before us wanted to fight the child. None, None of them. <laughs> Algia had tech better than anything we've got, and even they were afraid. Wow. The sacrifices don't work anymore. It refuses to consume them. They aren't enough to satiate it. Once that seal breaks, we'll have a world of molten darkness, and the child will be all that's left. Eating. Drinking. God. You're fools for staying. <laughs> the activation <laughs> Where of ways to extra-dimensional spaces was detected nearby. Ah, Tracking so is not considered dimension. a priority. <laughs> Addendum 4293. Ceiling updates 1608 2022. Seismometers have detected a series of high energy seismic pulses radiating directly under SCP 4290 LOC. Coming consistent out. Consistent with models on the effects of dimensional distortion on terrain. Red light now encompasses the entire ceiling site, and the totems are observed to be crumbling. Mm -hmm. Personnel are advised to wait and prepare. Brace. This file has been revised, displaying new additions. Addendum 4294. Scenario 4290 Unlock. On 1708 2022, the totems comprising SCP 4290 LOCK disintegrated. Military assets assembled at the shore of Qinghai Lake, and 10 minutes later, a 40-meter-long emaciated humanoid organism matching descriptions of SCP-4290 phased out of the, the ground and onto the, the seabed. Is hungry, Orders were it's sent emaciated. to only fire once activity was observed. Personnel waited two hours. After a further hour of waiting, ROVs were sent to SCP-4290, followed by an expeditionary crew equipped with Lambda model Thaumato hazard suits. Dozens of human corpses and hearts used in these sacrificial repair rituals rested on the entity's mouths, none having been consumed. No thomic radiation, psi wave emissions, or any signs of activity were registered. All life functions in SCP-4290 had ceased. Wow. Insight autopsies were performed. Based on these, the entity is estimated to have died approximately 9,000 years ago. The cause of death was determined to be malnutrition. SCP-4290 has been reclassified wow. to neutralized. Wow! Thank God! <laughs> this concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. Holy cow! When you hear brace, it means you fit to get a hit. <laughs>
It's about to hurt. It's like when something is coming at you and you know you can't stop. It's just like brace, man. Brace for impact. The This thing is amazingly powerful and it's starved to death. Which, when you think about a lot of the SCPs that are really, really renowned, you know, like 682, Shy Guy, they can't die from hunger, right? So when you think about it this thing had a vulnerability and weakness but the <laughs> if it would have survived it wouldn't have been pretty not at all i love stories like like don't get me wrong guys i love a lot of scp stuff but this the end of the world stuff when it's just when it's a mix of like this 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 ancient cosmic horror terror type stuff is 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 so awesome to me it's really really cool i hope y'all enjoyed this one guys make sure to subscribe to the vulgan make sure to subscribe to me leave a like on the video thanks so much for watching as always this is origin signing off we'll see you next time